I'm sitting here in the back of the bus, and um, last night I was listening to Joy FM radio on my phone, and um, a song came on by Jim Brady, and I think Melissa is also singing on it, his wife, and it's about um, telling people that you love them, make sure that we, you know, that we always tell our, our family and our friends that we love them and and then I, I get up this morning and, and I uh, was listening to the news about the Connecticut shooting of all those children and, and teachers and the principal and oh my heart is just broken and, and I thought about how ironic that I heard that song last night and I thought you know I, I can't imagine having a family member or a child that was shot in that school and how, how true that song is that that we need to tell our family and our friends that we love them and, and I just hope that you'll join me in praying for the, the family victims in the shooting and um, this is going to be a tough, tough Christmas for them and my heart is just really, really sad for all of them tonight and I just wanted to ask you to help me pray for all of them and and also just to remember to hug your kids tonight, tell them that you love them, uh, tell your family you love them, tell everybody that you love them because you never know when it's the last chance that you'll have to say I love you. You know, on um, I don't mean to run on with this, but um, in my last conversation, um, before he flew uh, overseas, I, I think they went to Ireland first, and then to um, to England. My father was not very. Um, he, he, I knew he loved me all the time, but he he wasn't very vocal. It was always really hard because he was raised that way. It was very hard for me to say I love you. But the last thing that he ever said to me. Um, before he hung up the phone, the last thing I ever heard him say was, I love you. And if I could pick the last words I'd ever want to hear him say, it would be that I love you. So, love your family, love your friends, and let's pray for these victims.